Hello everyone, welcome. Today I thought it would be fun if I did a really quick unboxing of the new Stray Kids Official Light Stick version 2. I recently got mine and I was so so excited and I thought why not do a quick unboxing of it because it has a lot of new features and a lot of like new sparkles to it so I thought it might be fun to do a quick little unboxing and comparison to the first version. Here is what the box looks like. It's like a soft black matte material and then in like shiny embossed letters you have the compass and then it says Stray Kids Official Light Stick version 2. So this box is a little bit different from the first one. The first version it was kind of just like a really flimsy like open at the top box. This one is actually like a little slip case. It feels a lot nicer. So here is the new child, <laughs> the new babe. And let me see. I'm trying to find all the other stuff. I am a little bit sad that it didn't come with like photo cards because twice and Extinary Heroes, they recently just got like a new light stick as well. Or Extinary Heroes like just got a light stick and they come with photo cards. Like or at least like a pop photo card and I was like, hello? <laughs> Why didn't Stray Kids get one? Like I was really hoping it was going to be like the candy bomb. The, yeah, the, ca the candy bong, that's twice as, right? I was really hoping it would come with like a full set like they like theirs did. We didn't. I don't know, maybe version three <laughs> in a couple of years, we'll finally realize we want some photo cards with the light stick. Cause wouldn't it be so cute? Like, I don't know if we've ever really gotten like photo cards with the members with the light stick. There's like broadcast prints from like way back when with the members and like their very first light stick like I have I have chans yeah so this is like really the only like light stick official inclusion kind of thing we've ever gotten I would have loved to have seen photo cards anyway though so besides photo cards we do get a new little light stick strap so this one is different last time it was white and now this one is black It'll probably be a lot nicer because it won't get like dirty as fast but it just says stray kids and you make stray kids stay and then this is just oh, the little instruction manual i think there's supposed to be an app this time around yeah android and iphone uh, download the application by scanning the QR code through the application you can control the lights the lighting of the light stick set the OLD OLED screen and register the performance ticket oh so maybe we can register our light sticks with the fan meeting stuff I don't know this weekend is the pilot fan meeting and tonight is actually the live stream so I wonder if we're gonna be able to like pair it and it'll blink and flash along like as if you were in person I don't know we'll see um it takes three AAA batteries just as like the first version did and yeah all right let's look at this a little bit more in detail up close all right here is what she looks like she has a little bit of like more heft to it than the first version did it like there it's all the weight is like up here because there's a bigger like little like saturn ring because it has like this light ring on it now so here's what the first version is uh mine is still <laughs> maniac themed but it, it looks like it's like a little bit like the new one is a little bit bigger like overall like it has a full like inch on top of it it doesn't spin like the compass doesn't spin this time around which i'm kind of sad for i'm definitely gonna miss it i mean i can't really spin mine <laughs> right now because like the rhinestones on it i have on it like doesn't allow it to spin but i think i am going to miss like the spinning feature because that was like so unique to like stray kids and it was like so fun to like you know just like throw your light stick and have it spin so I am gonna miss that 
a little bit but I am excited to see like how the um led screen looks like also the like globe is like so like brand new and shiny I mean you can see like the reflection of like my two lights hopefully you can't see the reflection of me I'm like a little bit Saturday haggard right now <laughs> but yeah it's interesting to see the difference like I said it does have like a little bit more weight like it feels like like this just like weighs down in my hand a little bit as compared to the first version and this is a new addition too is the like Stray Kids logo on here on the front so yeah there's a the little two side by sides I wish I had just like a plain white one to do an even better comparison but I just have my one decorated <laughs> decorated light stick so I'll bring it up a little bit closer so we can see more in detail so it still has the little button with the skiz logo led screen and yeah this is all like a little light ring so this lights up as well as like the inside lights up it's where you can put your light stick strap so yeah all right let's get some batteries i went and bought a new fresh pack of batteries because the ones i have in here are from the maniac encore show and i'm pretty sure it's going to be like on its last leg so <laughs> i went out and got new batteries to make sure we were all set I think I put that in right. That was a little, a little confusing as to which way those are supposed to go in there. All right, I will say forewarning, probably like for the rest of this video, there's gonna be like flashing lights because we're gonna go through all the modes and light adjustments. So it's gonna like flicker and flash on the screen and stuff. But let's see. Whoa! All right, I'm gonna do. Oh wow! I don't know if you saw that the LED like showed like the battery life. What if I, will it show it again? Ooh, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna do, oh wow. Oh wow, it has a lot going on. I wonder if it would be better if we look at it with the lights off. It's like not the darkest because it's like 2 p.m., but it's a lot darker than it was. Ooh. So yeah, there's the display. This is kind of like a pulse mode. That's super fun. All right, let's download the app and see what else is going on all right so here's the app it's called skiz version 2 i'm sure you could just like search for it i turned on the lights <laughs> again for a second so we're not just sitting in the dark but let's install that hopefully i have enough storage space i'm always struggling with my internal storage <laughs> all right open allow skiz version 2 to access this device's location sure First, press and hold the button on the light stick. When the light stick turns blue, press the connect button. Does it have to be on when I do this? Okay. Turn blue, press connect. Connecting, please put, oh, it's connected. Is the light stick operating with the same color as on the screen? Yes. After connection, the light stick can only be controlled with the app, not with the button on the light stick. Oh. If the light stick is not operating with the same color, please try connecting. Okay, oh, and there's the, the, the LED is like, I don't know if you can see, it has like a little check mark. Okay, so connected. Let's explore this a little bit. I also have started to screen record my phone, so in case this doesn't look good on camera, I can just like plop it up next to me so we can see what we're doing. So yeah, ticket registration. Enter ticket details. I'll do that later because I have to find what my ticket details are. 
Actually, maybe I can't do this because it looks like this is saying for like the K as KSPO dome. So, oh yeah, section. I'm not in a section. I'm not in Korea. <laughs> so maybe, maybe I actually can't register it like I thought. Oh, I can change the background. Oh, cute. That's cute. Okay, well, I guess I can't register. I don't know. I'll play around with it during the fan me band meeting tonight to see what happens. But, okay, wait. Light control. Ooh, okay, here's the LED screen stuff and settings. Checking remaining battery. The light stick will briefly turn on and off. Ooh, so even on the app, it'll show you how much battery life you have. That's cool. You can change the language settings. This app is already so much better than like the version one app. That one I feel like was just like, uh, I don't even know. Like it didn't work half the time. It was so confusing. It was so buggy, but this actually seems like a well-developed app. So, all right, turn. Oh, wow, you can turn it off and on from this screen. And okay, yes. oh, wow, you can change the colors too. Okay, all right, should we turn off the lights now? I'm not sure how well the filming quality actually will look like, but you'll at least be able to see the like different light modes a little bit better, which I think is going to be more beneficial than it being like super crisp HD, hopefully. All right, so here are all the different modes. We have flash, dimming, party, rainbow, rotation, and reverse, and then a color wheel, and then you can control the speed and control the brightness. You can make this brighter. Oh, wow. As if like this wasn't already like super bright as is, you can make it even brighter. That's cool. Let's look at the different modes. So this is flash. This is dimming. Party. Oh, <laughs> this is very much a party. Rainbow. Rotation. Oh, and then is this where you can control the speed? Speed. Oh yeah, so you can make it slower. Does that really change? I feel like that looks exactly the same. Hmm. Maybe the speed of the flash? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, so that changes the speed of like the flash and the dimming maybe? Okay, but not the rotation. And then reverse. Okay, let's go to the normal. The flash one is so like aggressive. It's just like da -da 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 -da. All right, so yeah, here you can pick and play with different colors. I don't know if I dim it. I'm trying to make sure that like you can see the colors. That is a cool feature that I like that you can kind of pick the color you want like your light stick to be because before you kind of could but it was only limited to like you could only yourself pick like red blue green and then I think like default white if it was like connected to, like a performance it like had a whole range of colors but you specifically could only like select it to red green blue and I think that was it I don't think it had yellow so i do like that you have like a whole color spectrum that you can pick from and it looks like it's pretty bright i have a, the brightness turned down let me turn it all the way up and yeah it is very bright like i said i don't know how well this all reads on camera it's a bit of a shame but it is very bright and like colorful depending on like the color that you pick. Ooh, 
it's so fun party party in my room tonight watching the fan meeting at 2 a.m i was sat and was i was sat and listening to the twitter space last night of the first day and i like fell asleep right at the end as they were doing their ending mend because it was like 6 a.m like i was exhausted so we'll see how tonight goes but okay let can i just go back to a white and turn this down a smidge because i want to look at the oled oh i guess it automatically switches yeah i want to look at the oled options so you can check the OLD screen. What did that say? Let's see, so you have like a compass, you have Wolf Chan, Bang Chan, Liebit, Lino, Dweki, Changbin, uh, Jinneret, Hyunjin, Quokka, Han, Bakari, Bakari, Bakari. I always have trouble saying that one. It's Bakari, I think. And Felix, Puppy M, and Sungmin. Uh, Foxy Innie, <laughs> and Ian, and then the Skiz logo. Okay, so, alright, so if I want to apply, I just select the, I think I select the compass. We are sending the information to the OLED screen. Yes. Oh, oopsie. Hmm, I'm like having problems adding the like, hmm, I'm like having problems adding the like little design here. Maybe I didn't do it right? Because every time I try to apply a new one, it just has me reconnect the light stick. For some reason. Maybe I have to go out of the app? Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, that's confusing. Okay, so basically what I did is I like disconnected from the app and then turned my light stick off and then back on again. And then it went from the Skiz logo to now Wolf Chan, which I selected. That's kind of weird. I thought it would like automatically, you know, like I would be able to like pick. It would be like an instantaneous thing, you know, like I would, you know, pick one of the skazoos or i would pick like the logo or the compass and then it would just like immediately pop up um let's go back and look again okay yeah, it's every time i go back into the app it like has me reconnect the light stick which is interesting so if i'm like gathering this right you can't do you can't um like specifically control the like lights and have the oled screen like be customized at the same time it looks like you can do one or the other meaning you are in here and you're controlling like the mode of the light stick and the colors or you're outside of the app with just like the basic modes with the white light with your oled design on the back so that's interesting i wonder if they'll ever like update that or like upgrade it somehow so like you could have that like fluid app integration amongst like everything but yeah that was a little bit confusing at first so let me check it again so i want bang chan now hit apply okay Transmission is complete. Okay, I wanna, I'm gonna go outside the app. Yep, yep. So you set the OLED to whatever it is you want 
exit out of the app, it'll reconnect itself and then you have it. All right, that was a little, that was a little bit of a growing pain, but I understand now. I understand now. Okay. Well, overall, I am super impressed. I think this has a lot of nice upgraded features and it seems like it'll be way, way fun at like concerts and stuff. I hope that with this new kind of like lighting integration that that means if they go and do shows outside of Korea that they can actually like utilize <laughs> utilize the light sticks and have it connected throughout the different arenas and venues and stuff because like I know other groups have that like I've seen TXT and like BTS shows like their light sticks can pair um to like their equipment at venues here in America and it's just fine and uh, you know in, in other different countries and like Europe and other parts of Asia so I hope that this new iteration also has that capability because I would love to be at a Stray Kids concert and Stray Kids show and have like my light stick be part of the whole experience, you know? But in general for right now, I love all of the different modes. I love that you can like pick the color and even though the OLED screen, it's like such a mouthful to like <laughs> try and say, even though it's a little bit confusing, I do think it is super, super cute. And I don't know if you can see Quokka there when the lights are fully on, but I do think it is a fun uh, addition to it because uh, I know people are very very into the skazoos. I am as well so I like that they integrated that so much with the light stick this time around. Um, there was one last thing I wanted to see and make sure. Oh my gosh where is it? Let me go through my k-pop pile of stuff really quick. Hold on. One eternity later. I found them. I swear I had light stick capes. I don't remember owning Puppy M's. I remember I had Wolf Chan. Um, so this is a nice little <laughs> surprise. I forgot I have... I bought that one. Anyway, the reason I wanted to try these is because this is like a little bit bigger than the first version, right? I wanted to compare and contrast how they fit and make sure like they still fit nicely. So we'll put Wolf Chan on my first version. Is it supposed to go above? Oh, I bet it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> I was like, is it supposed to go below the like little Saturn ring? Oh my gosh, the like little tails kill me. All right, okay, now <laughs> that was such a struggle. Let me put Puppy Am on version two. It would be cute too this way because if you have Puppy M or Sungmin, you can have like the little light stick cover and the OED screen showcase it. Ooh, okay. It's a little tighter than the other one. I mean like, it fits. It's just kind of like stretched out a little bit. Like you can see in the front here, like the front closes like super nicely. And this one is kind of like, <laughs> you have to like stretch it over and it doesn't have like a lot of extra give on the Velcro. And then in the back where this is like a little bit more flowy, this again is like really tight. I mean, like I said, it fits. Maybe you just have to kind of like squish it down and adjust it a little bit. So, oh, well, this is good now that I had two covers <laughs> to see the difference. Hold on. Let me do that idea that I was talking about. Let me switch this to Sungmin really quick. Where did my phone go? I turned off the light just because you can see the LED screen better that way. But... Yeah, so now you have Sungman and you have your little puppy M light stick cover and you're just like, yay! Inside my head, too many questions. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> da 
That is so cute right there. Ah! <laughs> Alright, well anyway, that is gonna be it for today, I think. Turn the lights back on one more time to say our goodbyes and turn turn this off. Here, I'm gonna actually, let me slip this around so we can see the compass on both sides. So yeah. There we go. That was my little review. Is it really a review? A review? It's more like this is my unboxing and like my first troubleshooting to opening the brand new Lightstick. Like I said, I really like it. I think it has a lot of great, great new improvements. The LED thing like tripped me up for a second, but I understand now. I get it. So not a big deal. I am very, very excited. I actually am going to be going to KCON next month in August. So I will have my very first chance and opportunity to use the new version. I think I'm going to take the new version with me um, just to try it out. I mean, I don't think like KCON is going to have like special light stake connections, but I do want to like just take the new version and try it out and see how like my arm fares <laughs> after three hour shows of just like swinging it around because I know when I was swinging this one around during Maniac uh it was an arm workout my arm definitely hurt <laughs> a little bit a few days after those concerts but I think that's enough talking from me today I really hope you enjoyed I hope if you got a light stick that you have it already or it's on the way to you and you get it super super soon I know shipping this time around was a beast, like regardless of where you ordered it from, if you ordered it from JYP Shop or Soundwave, I'm talking in terms of like you directly ordered it to you. Shipping was a beast, shipping was a lot, it was like in some cases more than the actual light stick. Some of these websites, specifically JYP Shop, <laughs> need to work on their international shipping costs because why am I paying $62? for a $52 product. Very disappointed. Disappointed in capitalism. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> enough of that, enough of me. I really, really hope you enjoyed. Thank you, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.